Albert Suarez against an Oakland team that is 11 and 17. The Athletics the second lowest scoring team in the majors and they'll face Suarez who has gone five and two thirds scoreless Jim in each of his two Orioles starts. Yeah kind of a pleasant surprise uh, you know had a pretty good spring had one outing against the Phillies in uh, Clearwater where you know, most of their regulars you don't always see that he blew him away because he can throw hard he's got a good, good slider he's got a good, good change up two two swing and a miss strike three I mean this is perfectly thrown turns it over that's why it moves a little bit left to right now facing Tyler Nevitt Fastball gets him 96 down and away and back to back strikeouts to start on a Sunday for Suarez. Well it does not get any better than that pitch. And J.J. Blade coming up and it's popped up high in the air shallow center Mateo out along with Henderson who calls Mateo off and the shortstop makes the catch in shallow center field 20 feet out. Paul Blackburn to the hill for the Athletics bottom of the first inning no score as he attacks this very potent Orioles lineup he's two and one on the year 2.03 ERA Gunnar Henderson stands in on the left side the 2 0 high in the air to center field for a day he's got some room he'll glide over toward left center he'll call off Seth Brown to make the catch here's Rutschman he's got an eight game hitting streak the catcher batting 324 one two pitch swing and a miss stayed with the curveball and down goes Rutschman in the dirt. Nope, I guess caught and he's out. So strike. I wasn't sure if, if McCann was going to throw it at first base or not. Well, Rutschman peeled off anyway. So here's the second out. And now here comes O'Hearn. Here's the full count. Yeah. Yep. See you later. O'Hearn strikes out looking and Paul Blackburn off to a nice start with a couple strikeouts. Fullest after one. Now Seth Brown. Seth trying to snap out of a little 0 for 9 on this trip. It's average down to 197, a home run and five driven in. Swung on fly ball right center field. That's tagged. Mullins is back along with O'Hearn near the wall, and that one is gone. Seth Brown, a deep right center, is second of the year, and the A's jump ahead one to nothing. Pack your bags, Brownie. All aboard. Next stop, Brown Town. And he will take an off speed pitch a little bit low here. <laughs> Blackburn really wanted it. It's not near walks. I thought he got the inside corner myself. But the Orioles get a base runner. Now Mountcastle, one for eight in the series. Jammed him. Little flares center field. Down for a base hit, and there goes Anthony. Boy, did he get a great read. That is exceptional base running by Santander. Yep. You know, plays in front of you. And you're right about the read. I mean, no hesitation whatsoever. Nice situation to be in if you're Cedric Mullins. You got a man on first that opens up some holes. Fly ball will tie the game up of any depth. Mullins to the right side, softly hit. The play is made at second by Schumann. But Mullins brings in Santander for the Orioles' first run. Call it another stolen base for the Orioles who have only been caught one time this year. Mullins ties Henderson for the team lead with a six steal. Well hand run at second L. And behind in the county uses the whole field left center and but they couldn't get to it a diving try and eludes his grasp and Mullins will score. Well if that's not the story of the season I don't know what it is a two strike extra base hit. And the Moo Birds saluting Colton Kowser, who gives the Orioles the lead. A base hit to left, and that's the third hit for the A's. They're in business here. First and second, nobody out for J.J. Blade. The 3 2 pitch. One line drive, base hit down the right field line. Butler around third. He'll come in and score. O'Hearn will fire it in. Going to third base is Nevin on a double from Blade, and the A's have tied it up at two. So Blade picks up his sixth RBI of the year. He need that, and that is his sixth double. And it is a 2-2 game here in the third. Is Brent Rooker. Rooker flied out to the center fielder Cedric Mullins in the second inning. And as the infield is in, and Rooker with a bloop single into left center. Into score is Nevin. Blade around third. It comes the throw to the plate from Mullins. Not in time. Going to second base, Rooker. And there it is. The A's have a four-run game, a three-run in the lead, 4-2. to two. Here is Adley Rutschman, who struck out swinging in the first inning, 0-1. for one. That ball whacked deep left center. Adley Rutschman out toward the bullpen, and it's gone! An opposite field home run for Rutschman, his first home run from the left side this season, and he's homered in back-to-back -back games as he brings the O's back within one. To a single. And Ryan is on with one out. Mountcastle 
comes to the plate. He singled his first time up. That ball drilled center field. Mount Castle out toward the wall. And gone! Oh, did he power that swing? Ryan Mountcastle and Adley Rutschman with home runs in the same inning for a second straight day, and the Orioles are back on top. Ramon Urias bats against Blackburn. The pitch. In the air to right, Ramon Urias goes the other way. Ramon Urias hits it out. Oh. Another home run. Oh, tee it high and let it fly. The ball is sailing out of here today. And that is the first of the season for Ramon Urias, making it six to four O's. Jorge chips this into right field for a base hit. And the party continues. He's a bowler one out. Where's Gunner? Blackburn holding for a long, long time, and it's a slow ground ball to second. Mateo slid about 60% of the way to the bag. He got down very early, and Henderson with a fielder's choice for the second out. Not a big lead over there, and the pitch that's a breaking ball got him swinging. So Blackburn able to strike out Adley Rutschman, but another run on the home run by Urias. One run, two hits, one left. We're through four. Third appearance on the road trip for Muller. Is Mountcastle. He has singled and he's homered. It was his fourth of the year. Center field, base hit for Mountcastle, who got another fastball and sliced it past the shortstop for Nays. He's on the run to second, and McCann's not going to bother a throw. So now a base hit. You can make this a three run game. Rolled up the middle to his left, the shortstop, Hernays. Gloves and hurries it over to first base. No damage done. A single and a man left, and on to the sixth inning, Oakland trails six to four. And the 0-2 to Nevin is swung on a fly ball to left field, hit pretty well. Going back is Kowser. He's at the wall, looks up, and it is gone. A home run for Nevin, and the A's now trail six to five. Six five lead for the Birds in the eighth. Noda to first. Mount Castle all over it. Well, we told you not only can he hit home runs, he already hit a two-run shot today. He's one of the better fielding first basemen. Well, the Orioles closer, Craig Kimbrell, did have a blown save on a Friday night. And I tell you, talk about a guy that takes accountability. He goes, that was all on me. Just one of those games where he did not have command. Velocity was down a little bit. He took advantage of it. I mean, he would blow the save, but he would, one of the great tag plays on a ball in the dirt at home plate, make a great tag play, and then the Orioles would lose an extra innings. Outside, ball four. Four pitches to Hernandez, and candidly, none of them were close. But he threw that last pitch and it looked like something's going on. But this just does not look like the same guy at all. I mean, for most of this month, he's been terrific. The last outing wasn't good, and this outing is off to a bad start. Five pitches out of the strike zone, but there's something about it that just does not look right. The A's led 1 0 and led 4 to 2. But twice came back the Orioles and they extended things. They used the long ball to do it. Count coming to Kyle McCann. Swung on, drill deep right, way back. McKenna at the wall and it is gone. Kyle McCann delivers against Kimbrell. And the A's have taken a 7 6 lead. Craig Kimbrell has blown another save and the A's lead it 8 to 7 in the ninth inning. It's just so unusual to see him throw this many balls and to see him labor this much. And Kimbrell is going to walk off with Brian Abel and Dylan Tate is going to come in this game. A's lead at 7-6 to six now after McCann hits the two-run homer. The Oakland A's looking to close it out behind the arm of Lucas Ursig. And it's Adley Rutschman that will bat here trying to keep this game going. Ursig readies and fires and a swing and a miss. He gets him on the breaking ball and the A's take two out of three in Baltimore. 